As of December 30th, 2011, Buffers USA is the only supplier of a manual IBC with side handle to have its IBC tested and approved by the AAR in accordance with the new specification M-998-2008, which includes requirements for impact and static testing. Prior to impact testing, the Buffers IBC passed the AAR requirements for static testing. The static testing is documented in another video on this DVD. This video focuses on the official AAR certification for impact testing. The testing was performed at the Transportation Technology Center Incorporated, or TTCI, in Pueblo, Colorado, and involved the following equipment. An all-purpose flat car mounted with a special fixture which simulated the top of a standard 40-foot container. A fully loaded impact container, weighing no less than 67,200 pounds, was loaded onto the special container fixture using buffers IBCs at each of the four corners. This car was equipped with a short-stroke all-steel friction draft gear similar to a Cardwell Westinghouse Mark 50. The use of this draft gear design assured that the reaction load and acceleration response requirements could be met at impact velocities in the range of 2 to 10 miles per hour. During the test, the car carrying the loaded container would be allowed to freely roll into a stationary string of three loaded 100-ton cars. The car on the struck end of the string was equipped with an M-901E draft gear. The handbrake on the last car in the anvil was set, the free slack between the cars eliminated, and the draft gears uncompressed. No other restraints were used during the impacts. The impact test required the container car to be subjected to impacts at different speeds 2, 4, 6, 8, and if required, 10 miles per hour in one direction only. Speed at the time of impact was confirmed using a calibrated radar gun. At each impact, longitudinal coupler force was measured by load sensors attached to the coupler and data fed to a computer station in the trackside monitoring van. After each impact, each IBC was inspected for operational integrity while on the container car. Testing would conclude when a coupler force of 1.25 million pounds was recorded, and it was verified that the IBCs retained their operational integrity. At that point, the container car was to be returned into the main facility where each IBC would be further inspected for any structural damage, such as cracking or excessive wear. As the testing got underway, the preliminary runs at 2, 4, and 7.9 miles per hour were completed successfully, with no observed operational failure to the IBCs. The final run was made at 8.6 miles per hour. At impact, a coupler force well exceeding the required 1.25 million pounds was recorded at the computer station. After the test, inspection of the IBCs once again verified their operational integrity. The container car was brought back inside the facility and the container removed from the flat car. Each IBC was removed from the test fixture and thoroughly examined for damage by an AAR inspector. The result? No damage. The Buffers IBC had successfully passed AAR impact certification testing and received conditional approval for in-service use.